Michael Brunson, Brian Christopherson with the Husker 24-7 three-minute drill after what was probably a pretty disappointing 31-24 loss for Nebraska in overtime to Illinois. Matt Rule just got done speaking about the game. Uh, kind of an uneven night for Tony White and his defense that kind of struggled to, to get Illinois off the field. Yeah, this was a, this was a buzz kill, Bruns. Um, you know, it's one thing to lose. I think the, the shocker was that Nebraska's defense, which, you know, most of us think of or thought of as a strength going into the season, it felt like they were just off their, their footing most of the evening. And mm-hmm. they, they gave up 381 yards. Uh, really got worn down for a while they were stopping the run but Illinois ended up with 166 on the ground and then you know there's an opportunity in overtime where you're like okay you can salvage the night here crowds into it and right away they rip off a 21 yard run around the left side and uh, continue Nebraska's overtime woes which is a whole nother topic but as Marquise Buford said after the game if they expect with those veterans if you give them 24 points they they should cash in a win and mm-hmm. it, it it was just surprising to me how they they could never grip the game and illinois just sort of had them out foxed and and out physical by the end of it yeah an offense you know i thought dylan riola played pretty well uh three touchdowns one interception just shy of 300 yards mm-hmm. probably would want that one back yeah. just a just a little bit too much air to to linden meyer uh, at the end that, that uh, looked like a pretty well drawn up play for the most part. Uh, he put it on himself after the game. Um, you know, you, you would have liked to have seen more of a running game, I think, from Nebraska. They didn't get to 100 yards there uh, on the ground. Um, but, you know, I, I think, you know, the offense probably did enough um, through, through three or four quarters there to, to give Nebraska a chance, or at least the way things have played out in the past. Yeah. The, I mean, the thing that people are going to talk about, um, is you know they they got down to the 21 yard line and there was the throw to Lyndon Meyer which could have connected and maybe salvaged a victory, uh, but then they they went for the field goal and uh, fourth and three. Um, it's just that they have an unsteady kicking game. You just don't have a lot of confidence in it. Um, they've got young guys sort of in a key in a key spot. I think I might have trusted number 15 there and went mm-hmm. for it, but that shows you you're in a kind of a bad spot when you're like debating if you're going to kick a 39-yard field goal in the mm-hmm. tie game. I don't think Matt Rule did debate that, by the way. He, he went with the kick, and it, it's usually the right call. But um, all offseason, the slogan has been chasing three. And right now, that's going to be hard in Big Ten play uh, when you can't bank on those three points like some teams you're playing. Yeah, there, there's going to be a lot, I think, that Nebraska is probably going to learn from this one. Long weekend to kind of go through everything uh, with, with it being, being a Friday night game. but. Uh, Keep it locked on Husker 24-7. We'll have much, much more from this game uh, and going into next week against Purdue as well.